special place that we like to go. A secret space only the Father knows. In this place our spirit grows as we look to the Word of God. Look at your sword of the Spirit and join with me. We'll open it up and there we'll see. God is good and He cares for us here in the secret chamber. Laura and Betty here, along with Kennedy Ann and Brian and my niece and nephew from where? Alabama. <laughs> from Alabama. Alabama. They are here visiting Uncle Randall and Aunt Laura, and we're super excited to have them join us in the secret chamber. You know, we've come to this place because there is something special about getting along with the Heavenly Father and His Word. We have the Sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So we're going to continue looking in the book of Galatians to learn more about what are we learning about? <laughs> That's right. We are learning about the fruits of the Spirit. And Kennedy Ann, can you tell me the fruits of the Spirit? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. That's a mouthful, and you're exactly right. Those are indeed the fruits of the Spirit, and today we're going to focus specifically on what? Self-control. On self-control. That's exactly right. So, what can you guys tell me about self-control? Let's start with Bryden. I'm curious if he knows. Bryden, do you know what self-control is? Like, when you're mad at someone, you control yourself not to um, express your feelings. Very good. Yes, I'm proud of you. You're exactly right. So, it's staying in control of your feelings, your emotions. So not letting them get the best of you? Yeah, very good. Okay, great job. What about you, Kennedy? And what can you tell me about self-control? Well, one reason, well, one, it, one thing is that, um, like, if you're eating, you have you can have self-control when you're eating to, like, stop yourself when you're full. Yeah, you're exactly right. Definitely self-control when eating is important. So y'all gave two examples, and those are both great examples. So one is in the way we react to others. We want to keep control over our emotions. And the other is when we're eating, we want to keep control over what we're eating. Because you know what? When you're angry, sometimes we just want to push somebody, right? Um, and, and when we're eating and it's really yummy, we just want to eat, 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 and make ourselves sick, right? Right? It can, and we can do that easily, but that's not good for us. And so the Bible says that God's people are to practice self-control because when we practice self-control, it's better not just for us, but for the people around us, right? It's better that we not be mean to somebody when we're upset, and it's better for our tummies that we not eat too much. So those are really good examples. I like those both, so thank you for sharing. So self-control is our ability to control what we are doing. And God has enabled us to do this through the power of His Spirit that lives within us. So you guys are right. And you know what? God wants every believer to practice self-control. So let's pray and ask God to help us do this. Father God, we thank you for your word, which teaches us that self-control is an important part of the believer's life. Help us, God, like uh, Bryden and Kennedy Ann talked about. Help us to um, keep control over our emotions, Lord, and the way we react to others. And help us can keep control over our appetites, Lord, when we are consuming things that are really good. May we learn to be able to stop when we need to so that we not overeat, God. And, and of course, there's so many other areas of our lives where we need to practice self-control. So help us, Lord, to do that so that others can see you working in us. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. It was great seeing you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And we're going to go before someone discovers our secret chamber.